is what my hair looks like. At least this is pretty straight. Let enough. me want to know the end result of this uh, blow dryer. If I actually wasted my money or it's actually a good buy because four hundred dollars for this and sixty two thousand naira for the step down is actually a lot of money. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new or oh, an OG, you are most welcome. So today I am going to be blow drying my hair using my Rover, um, yeah, my Rover blow dryer. I just got it. I'm really excited. I can't wait to uh, give it a try. So I'm going to be unboxing it to see all the things that came with this uh, blow dryer. So from opening the box i can see prepare to be amazed let me just show you guys can you guys see prepare to be amazed i can't wait to be amazed this is what the inside is looking like i i don't even know where to start from okay i guess this is the um, chamber or whatever this is sorry i don't know but i'm going to figure everything out really soon there's a manual so i'm going to use this to figure everything out well yeah this is i think this is the suction yeah this is the suction for the blow dryer so yeah let's just figure this all out and then start the whole process so i just uh washed my hair and deep conditioned my hair so i'm just going to apply my heat protect uh protectant and then begin the whole process so let's just get into it guys so i figured something out it says here that only insert into a 120 volt uh that's about 50 the amp outlet there is no way this uh reverb product was going to work with our own socket here so i had to get a step down and the what the wattage for the reverb is 800 watts so i decided to get the 1500 watts so i'll have a uh, room for higher watts in case of anything but yeah so if you're getting reverb i think it's best you get the one that is targeted uh towards the european uh, market because i think we use the same socket so that should work i didn't consider that before buying mine i bought mine from the us so that's why i'm having this issue so i bought this step down for sixty-two thousand naira. this particular one goes for sixty-two thousand naira. so that's additional money to the river uh blow dryer that i bought for four hundred dollars so you need to consider that before buying your repair product i'm very sure they have one targeted towards uh the african market and the european market because we use the same uh, uh kind of socket so i've already fixed uh everything so we should be able to use it now so my hair is already washed detangled and a blue dry sorry and deep conditioned so now i'm just going to give it a try they said to use it on damp hair so my hair is not uh, soaking wet it's damp so i'm going to let me just detangle it some more it's best it's really uh free detangled so you won't have uh knots and all of this that. is the first section i don't know if it's too much i feel like it's too much maybe i'm just going to split it into two Okay. Okay, it's <laughs> okay. I guess I'm still trying to figure out the setting because my hair still feels a bit um I don't know. 
it's it's not okay let, let me just okay. i don't know it's not fully blue dried to be honest i don't know how i feel about this i feel like my hair is going to shrink back in no time because my hair still feels like there's still more work to be done maybe i haven't figured all this out yet so i don't want to complete it yet but this is the first one so let me just do another piece and then see to be sure um i don't know for now i don't know how i feel so let's do another one so i'm going to take the second piece anyway this is the difference i think it it, it did pretty good but yeah let me just do another piece to be sure right let's let's try <laughs> one honestly i don't know how i feel but i'm going to do i think my entire hair then we'll take it from there guys before we go any further so i attempted to like flat iron this part of the blue dried hair so this is the other part as you can see i don't know like i said i feel like it's going to shrink back maybe i haven't figured it out yet but it's really shrinking back so i flat ironed uh, this part just to see like just to i don't know i just thought i should do that and this is the difference this is really shrinking back it's that's it here this the other part i did is really shrinking back so i don't know if I'm doing it wrong I'm still going to try it one more time before I conclude on this but this is the state of uh, this part of the blue dried uh, part so yeah I just thought I should just uh, share with you guys but this is what my hair looks like at least this is pretty straight enough but this I don't know what to say so I actually have never silk pressed my hair since I went natural. I've never done it. So I'm thinking of actually silk pressing my entire hair. Like, let me just see what my hair is going to look like. At least with this, it's it's not fully silk uh, pressed. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just, it's pretty straight, but not like sleek. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try it very soon but for now this is the state of my hair i'm not even sure if i want to continue with the reverse um blow drying because this is just not working i feel like it's not going to do me any good until i'm able to figure it out so i'm probably going to end this video here for now i'm going to try it again so i'm going to end it here and figure it out then i will be back to show you what i came up with so until next time guys please don't forget to stay safe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you know when the next video is out because you definitely want to know the end result of this uh, blow dryer if i actually wasted my money or it's actually a good buy because 400 dollars for this and 62,000 naira for the step down is actually a lot of money it's actually a lot of money so I don't want to regret buying this so i'm going to try to figure it out then give you my final review so stay tuned bye